Hello my YouTube peeps and my YouTube gals. Thank you for joining us for part three of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm back nice again. Party. No, he did it. He did it. I'm back again with Liam. Uh, we're doing some more Doki Doki. Uh, if you guys do want to check this out live on stream, there will be a link to my Twitch in the description down below. We've already done two parts of this on YouTube and we're going to go for the third now. Um, <coughs> we're also doing Undertale as well, so do feel free to check that out on stream or on YouTube when we do upload that. We ha do have three parts of Undertale already, don't we bro? Yep. Which you guys can go check out if you like um, but without further ado we're gonna get back to Doki Doki before we get back to the main story we're gonna look at what we've unlocked we've unlocked some more pictures and apparently some side stories so we're ready to have a look bro yeah nice so let's look at some pictures uh, I'm gonna have to scroll down oh here's the new ones oh, so these poems. are poems we've unlocked so uh, poem there Sayori's first poem Natsuki's first poem Yuri's first poem Monica's first poem that picture of uh, Natsuki <laughs> where <laughs> she looks like she's seen some shit <laughs> Uh, obviously, we saw that one last time, and yeah, uh, is there any more? No. Okay, so that's all of them. Side stories. We've unlocked Understanding, part one, and then oh, obviously okay. afterwards we'll do part Look two. Yuri eating the book. Or eating the book. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to come back and do uh, the side stories after we've done the main story, guys, so do check it out. But well, do feel free to wait for that and check that out on either Twitch or YouTube, whichever one you guys want to see. Well, I'll see you on. So without further ado, shall we get back into the main story, bro? Yeah. yeah all right. We've been doing this um, for quite a long time now, and we're having fun doing it. Uh, do look out for more streams. We're going to do at least one every week, out, bro? Oh, yeah. At least one every week. So, Lord Game. If you guys remember, we were just dealing with some of Natsuki shit, so we're going to get back to that. <laughs> yes, okay, back. Okay, so, I'm going to have a quick swig of my coffee, and then we're going to get back into it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. So, Natsuki, oh. are you... No! Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. I remember do, uh, going through this the first time on yeah. the laptop playing the actual original. And if you remember correctly, I'd sent you a message uh, a while ago oh, now. Oh, yeah. Uh, just about a year ago. Well, just over a year. And this part broke my heart. I remember messaging you about it. You were really uh, upset. Uh, yeah, it upset me. So, anyway. Ah. I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. N no. I, I don't even care that much. I I'm just... Up. She's crying, bless her. Having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I, I didn't mean to take it out on you. I, I really didn't mean to. It it's, it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just every day, <laughs> every day, it is so hard. I just want to come to the club and Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. All right, you know. Well, I'll help clean this up, and I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Nah, I pick up volume two of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Huh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm -mm. Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I'm pretty sure what happened to her today. Sorry, I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in, the, in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wants to put it. Then I get the stool. I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. All right, that should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Th thanks! Uh huh. It's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hand. Alright. I'm ready. Good! Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The thing about chewing me up. If you insist. <clears throat> We sit in the same spot as last time, and I open the second volume. Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. 
She's surprisingly sharp, making a note of a lot of subtle, repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. Now, sometime, Monica gets her attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. I guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep! Even you sound more en enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? <laughs> Told you! Yeah, yeah. I returned to my seat and slipped the book into my bag. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to first? We'll just do the same order as last yeah. time. Yeah, so, Siori, then Yuri, Monaco, and Atsuki. Yeah, sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah, I've got to do the voice again now, though. Dot, dot, dot. Oh! I like this one, schmuckles! It has some nice feelings in it! Like a penis! <laughs> I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mmm, let me think. I don't know! I guess I like them both. <laughs> it's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Gives me funny flutters. <laughs> Gives me tingles. Oh, tingles down below. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Um, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. Y you need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might even get hurt at some point. Huh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a, a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet, that's it. Get Symphony, <laughs> so that's right. <laughs> yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and... I'm sorry, happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sarah. Well, I like happy most. Well, sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can give you... Uh, can give the rain cloud a little hug. Make a nice happy rainbow! Siori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Uh, is it? Oh, it is! Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all! Thanks, schmuckles! I should get that, I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna have a oh cup of coffee, one second. <laughs> right. Make it sound like she's had, she's had about 20 puck. Alright. Balls! I pop up my scalp like lid of a cookie jar. Secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger. Kitchen. And pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. Oh, it's warm and tingly. Oh, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put, uh, I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles. All in a row. He, um, my collection makes me makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a star like to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to say day. Night after night, more I knew she was on the bloody on the binge. <laughs> yeah. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. <laughs> deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Why? <laughs> oh, oh, finger myself. <laughs> Like exploring a dark cave. <laughs> Discovering the secrets hiding it nooks and crannies of me fanny. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off me bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my lock front door. Finally all done, I open up and in come me friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I front they had pulled them from the shelf, one after the other. On the marks, each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the towel between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. It was supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, bleeding, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm going to need a quick swig of coffee. Oh, God. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? A 
course I did! Did I tell you yesterday I'm gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me an old lot! And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kinda of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Yo, oh, thanks. I feel like I feel like I've meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand the old feelings a little bit better. <laughs> Writing is like magic. You've gotten, uh, you've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself, uh, Schmuckles. You, it's <laughs> closer than that you think. <laughs> oh, Sierra's always got, uh, always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes, it makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Right, you ready for Yuri's? So yep. Yuri's next year. <laughs> Go. Uh, I see what you've written for today. Hmm. Well done, Schmuggles. Your skills are already improving. Really? Uh, thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Huh? It, it's nothing. I'm just happy to help my inspire fellow writers. I know that you're new to this, so don't worry so much. It seems like you, you can't get get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like a, a turning a bunch of gears. You really grab my gears, you do. <laughs> Try and letting your mind wander through your feelings. <laughs> write down the things you see and hear. That's one way truly enable your readers to see, see into your mind. It's a very intimate exp exercise. Yes, it's intimate. <laughs> I see. That's certainly that's cer a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I um I have um well an example of that. If you'd like to read it. Of course. This, this is the poem you wrote for today. Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. <clears throat> Here you go. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night, while I was slicing bread for a ghillie snack. My attention was caught by the scurrying of racco a raccoon outside my window. That is, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an ordinary, un un ordinary per human. I have the a raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my curtain knife was, it, was the symptom. The bread. My hungry curiosity. Killed the cat. <laughs> the raccoon. An urge. The moon. Oh, increments. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of a raccoon, my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. Raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I am merely projecting my emotions onto a newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You can say that we've gotten quite used to each other. Oh gosh, she's a fairy. <laughs> the raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my clean knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic. A Padovian. A Padovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I'm feeling myself again. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a little more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but uh, I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. A little bit more closer to preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imaginary, uh, imaginary imagery, imagery, <laughs> and conveying emotions through them. Sorry, I was getting taking my glasses off. It's all right. Fucking glasses have been a bit weird. Yeah, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm legally blind. Yeah. Uh, if I take it at face value, that's me. That's me. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well. I think something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want to express the way I, if it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sort of things I usually force them to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? But because they're embarrassing and people would, would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Schmuggles? Well, yeah. I 
I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. Something like that. Something like that, I bet. <laughs> the best way we can we can do well can do it is respect each other and other individual individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes. And some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weakness, I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now. <laughs> You're drawing on love. <laughs> I've been smoking lately. Oh, you know, I'm gonna sound like Monica Sue. I mean, yeah, Monica Sue. I'll see you on it. I'll see you on it, yeah. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. So, Monica. Ready? Here we go. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi again, Snuckles. How was the writing going? <laughs> Alright, I, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy that you're, impl you're implying yourself. <laughs> Maybe soon you'll come up with, ma with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you're up for today? Uh, sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Hmm. All right. It's pretty good. <laughs> You've been spending some time with Natsuki, haven't you? You must like her art still. Uh, yeah. I think it's a neat way to tell a story. Hmm, I don't disagree. <laughs> Natsuki's poems may be cute, but they're also meaningful. I can see why you've been in that, into that style. I guess that means you're not much a fan of yours poems then? I, I wouldn't say that. I can't like everyone's poems. That's true, but I'm sure you like some more than others, right? Fair enough, fella. <laughs> Sorry, my kitten's going mad in the background. Like Yuri's use of complex words and symbolism. Or Yuri's way of expressing happiness and sadness in a more direct way. You must have some kind of preference, don't you? Ah, not that it's a contest or anything. <laughs> I was just curious, that's all. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? Here we go. <clears throat> I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Save me! The colours they won't stop! <laughs> Bright, beautiful colours! Flashing! Expanding! Piercing! <laughs> Red, green, blue! Aimless cacophony! Of meaningless noise! <laughs> the noise! It won't stop! Violent, grating waveforms! Squeaking! Screeching! Piercing! Sighing! Cosine! Janjin! <laughs> like playing a chalkboard on the turntable! I like, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust! <laughs> Endless! Bowen of meanless. Lord me! Lord me! Um. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> that pause. I guess it's the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, no, no I, uh, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on my, with this, my space on paper. Dirty girl. Uh, Harley Quinn bat. Thanks, babe. Choose a way now to space your words. Can only change the mood of the poem. <laughs> it's almost like magic. <laughs> <laughs> the way I write the lines, right? Really short. Oh, when I wrote the lines really short, makes it feel like they speak. Uh, Try to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract as a physical expression of feeling. <laughs> what a conversation with the reader. With the reader. <laughs> so put it that way, not every poem is about a boot something. A boot. Anyway. Fucking Canadian. We're going to boot. <laughs> Here's Monica's right tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You'll never know what you might when you might change your mind. Oh my god. Or when something unexpected may happen. Oh. <laughs> so mad. Wait, is this the tip even about writing? <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Righty, so. Natsuki now. Let's uh, go for it. The next oh. writing, uh, reading for me. Here we go. Here we go. Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. By now, she must have read it more than once. Uh, hmm? 
Is it that bad? No, no, it's not. It, it, it's good. It's really good, okay? There, I said it. Ugh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously. You think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's, Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... Uh, now, Suki's face freezes like she just realized something. You, you, you're trying to impress me? Yes. No, I'm trying to fuck you. <laughs> now, Suki's vigorous, uh, now, Suki vigorously scans her eyes over my poem one more time. Then, the poem sits out of her hands and floats to the floor. I have to use the bathroom. Oh, Red face, that Suki quickly walks out the room. She fucking ran off. She's not blob. <laughs> hey, Schmickles! Did you do something to that Suki? Oh. Oh no. I fucked her. She wanted. <laughs> she wanted the anal. Sorry, cut me off. I just saw a rush out like that. You didn't do it with the devil, did you? No, no. No. no, no. I just fucked her to her. I just told her that I could do it like a dad does. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Um, my voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I can tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Hmm. Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She skims over it a second time, her smile not fading from her face. I see. At first I thought, I just thought you'd like to write style. But you wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I, I mean, not really. In fact, did she like your poem a lot the other day too? I'm surprised you you know it too so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating? Shimokul? We're actually not. Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway, how do you think that Sydney feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It's just something that for you to think about. <laughs> Natsuki comes up and snatches the poem out of Monica's hands. Neither of us... Uh, no, I thought she was speaking then. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course! I liked it! Uh, you should really start reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Yeah? But Schmuggles wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share with everyone, right? Uh, uh, Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem was technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Schmuckles is done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ah, uh, uh, never mind. Well, I guess Natsuki has my poem now. Not that I really plan on keeping it. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. Okay, here we go. Uh, Amy likes spiders. <laughs> Amy likes spiders. You, you know why I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I, I heard her singing my favorite love song. And every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound. Get to the rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy held me up and took me to the nurse. I, I tried not to let her touch me, though. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends, and I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends like that start to like spiders, too? That's not why. That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't help if she has other hobbies. If, it doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross, and the world is better off without spider lovers. And, I'm gonna tell everyone. Not bad, right? Uh, it's uh, quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I, I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Uh, anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with such simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an immigrant. Immigrant? What? Is an ignorant jerk. Gonna see your visa. <laughs> Do you know people like that? Of course. It's how everyone thinks 
Uh, it's how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. Uh, running too easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a gu guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid to, if people find out, they make fun of you or think less of you. But, but, but that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. I think, uh... <laughs> I think necrophilia is a bit different to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh. That's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you see Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem uh, was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make fun, uh, make each other feel insecure about, the, about those things. Really? W well... I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, it's not like I would judge her or anything. Now, Suki has trouble finding words. I, I guess I should try not be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff, I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. Y you know, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so... So consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow too, okay? Alright. I will. Here we go, bro. Go. Okay, everyone, shut your traps! <laughs> We're all done reading each other's ponies, right? I have some extra, uh, something bla uh, extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit in front of their room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Now listen to you, little shit. Now listen to you, little fucker. I'll eat your fucking kidneys. <laughs> um, we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. <laughs> We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. See you but well, Siori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we could give out during the event. Well, bro, promotes mentai. Okay, um, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to do for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. <laughs> we're going to be performing. Performing? Mrs. P? Penis! Uh, Monica? <laughs> yeah. We're going to be having we're going to be having a poetry performance. <laughs> Each of us are going to choose a poetry song during the event. <laughs> but the cool part is we're all going to let everyone else come up and recite poems too. <laughs> Shorty's put it all on all the posters in case everyone wants to prepare the time. <laughs> Siori has been colouring a poster. All is it up for all to see? It's got a penis on it. <laughs> no, they're all pole dancing. <laughs> Fucking Bosuki pole dancing. <laughs> You're alright, love. Go and drop me a 20 pound note. Go on. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Monica? You, you, did, you didn't already start putting those purses up, did you? Yeah. Well, I did. Do you really think it's ba uh, that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's, it's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to perform in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Siori! Scottish thing! No! Yuri, Siori. guys! Siori, no! <laughs> I don't understand where they're coming from! Siori, no! You remember that? That's okay, Yuri! I've never shared my poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago! It's a lot to master! <laughs> to recite their poems out loud to the whole room of people! I guess I... I guess I kind of overlooked that! So... I'm sorry. Hmm. But I still think we should give it our best. <laughs> We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. 
If we start the event and put e an each bot on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. Just gonna fucking poke Natsuki in the eye. Get away from me, bitch! And the more people who perform, the better will be. <laughs> fucking Tasmanian devil. <laughs> and the more people who perform, the better. We'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Bomb. Yeah. It's all about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself. Now that's known as masturbation. Finding new horizons and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them? To find some feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know, I know you do. I know, we all do. But it all takes it. <laughs> and if it takes, if it takes, it's, yeah, all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Siori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Siori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. A new member! <laughs> the least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right! <laughs> Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. <laughs> what about you, Yuri? Yuri deje uh, dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expecting faces. So. I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! Your best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, oh she's, gosh! She's more right than she thinks. <laughs> oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I wanted each of you to. Oh, I want each of you to choose a form of yours. <laughs> We're going to practice inside them in front of each other. N no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't decide to bore him in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Look, <laughs> if you can't wank in front of your mates, right? Oh no. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll, start off, um, I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Wait a minute. <laughs> Pulls a, just yoinks breasts out. Look at these jugs. <laughs> I'm not going to wait, wait, can I go next? <laughs> I of course. <laughs> no, wait. Oh my god, it fits! It fits! <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> I've lost my fucking voice. <laughs> it's alright. Now, let's see. There you go. Monica flips through a notebook to the specific yeah. poem that she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The darkest poem is called The Way They Fly. <coughs> Monica begins reciting a poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her, reflection, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something, uh, is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> Siori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Four of us applaud. Monica takes the breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to get, set a good example. Are you ready to? Are you, yeah. are you ready to go next? Is you ready? I'll go next. You, Yuri's fired a ball of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. Uh, this poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It is called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the fast, first couple of lines, <coughs> her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into a poem. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> she gets absorbed. <laughs> I thought we heard. Uh, her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she uh, enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the world, into the wi whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her, inside her head. Sorry. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. 
Yuri steps back to reality. Watch your profanity. <laughs> <laughs> and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I. It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start floating. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Well done, fucking champion wanking that one. Oh, 10 out of 10. We'll definitely recommend to a friend. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught, we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the problem to her chest, rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was very good. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Looks like Yuri is down for the count. OK, I guess I'm next then. Siori hops out of her chair, cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. My Meadow. <laughs> My Bush. My Milkshake brings up voice to you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Siori. It's a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> oh. How did you guys. Oh, sorry. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem. So it'll come out the best. So it'll come out the best that way. I see. I see. I kid her. I kid her. Okay then. Sorry begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like a soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery, cheery like Sorry is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she says she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone. I thought I knew through and through. <laughs> I can reach deep inside. All you can hear from there is very shame with cheese. You know. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Schmuckles liked it. I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Siori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that that the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of general delivery wouldn't work as well. They might, uh, they might need a little bit more focus behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> well, the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Schmuckles. Sorry. Schmuckles! It's not like I can compare it to you guys anyway. Might as well let Schmuckles lower everyone's standards for a little before I have to do it. That's okay. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. So thank you for standing in hide order, and thank you for standing in breast size, biggest and, large, biggest and smallest. I really appreciate that. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, I, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I've finished, I receive applause at, <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Wait, I'm staying. <laughs> Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about lack of your confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The, 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 the poem is called... It's, it's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called... Jump. Right. Oh, my love. <laughs> Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still, uh, she's, sorry, while she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She hosts back to her seat. Oh, well done, love. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Your 30-day money-back guarantee. 
Patrz, teraz on jał. Póki trzeba go. A może szoba, może? Trip advisor. Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to reach that poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. A surprise now, Suki. I think it will be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you don't have much, uh, much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making puppets. So, let me, <laughs> so let me know ahead of time what you'll, you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find uh, some other poem to recite instead. Get me pain, though. Yeah. Well, that's fine, too. <coughs> it doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you know that you put it up. Oh, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to tap it. <laughs> it makes me really happy. Alright, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone, shut your traps! <laughs> <laughs> Monica and off the green! Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working uh, it's been working out really nicely so far. So I'd like to continue that. As for the festival? We'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare the To fucking section! To prepare! Get the frosties in, lads! Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can, I can do this, I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Theory and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready? Oh, sorry. Ready to go, Siori? Yep! <laughs> Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well... Uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Schmuckles. You don't have to say it out loud, mother. Whatever. L let's go already. I will come with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. But hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out! Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to. Uh, I mean, Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Natsuki has to walk home with Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You kind of put me uh, sorry, you kind of put me on the spot here. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to save there. I'm not going to stop the this no, part. I'll save it because my voice is sounding. It's all right, it's all right. We've only got a uh, little bit left, bro. All right. So I'm going to save that there, just in case we need to come back and make another decision. Uh, I think I'd walk home with Siori still. I think that's what I'd say in that situation. I'm not saying I'd still walk with Siori. Yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, even yeah, though it's like you know, even though the MC. Might like a different girl. Look, me and Cat start walking on with his best mate. Oh, exactly. You know what I mean. So I'd still walk home with Sayori. <coughs> Sayori, you really think I'm a teacher for Natsuki? Eh? But but she's so cute and fun to be around. Jeez, I always see her in the club every day. Besides, uh, besides, you always seem to uh, really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, schmuckles. You think about me too much sometimes. Natsuki would deserve it if she uh, deserve it if she wanted it. So. Sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry! Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Um, the conversation trails off. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I wanted to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Okay, I think we're coming to another poem, bro. Um. <laughs> I do, do, oh, oh, uh, let's have a look. Family. Ah, oh, damn! Uh, Variant. Okay. There you go. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! Uh. Question. 
damn it. Um, um, shit. Sticky! Yes, okay. Uh, captive. Fuck's sake. Um, 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 shit. Damn it! Fuck. <laughs> Uh, Zaya. Okay, um, pink. Okay. Unending. Unending. Okay. Uh, mm. Kawaii? Yes! Anxiety. Actually, no, no, no. Oh, that would be. Uh, email. Email. Hey! Uh, let's have a look. Nothing? Yes. Vicarious. What do you mean, Vivacious? Oh, oh, Vivacious, sorry. Can I say it's alright. Uh, Doki Doki. Starscape. Uh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Treasure. Massacre. <laughs> I'm gonna massacre your insides. <laughs> um. Uh, shit. Uh, chocolate? Yes. Vivid. Vivid. Okay. So I think we, most of those might have been Sayori on that one. Hmm. Close to followed by Yuri. I definitely didn't get as many Natsuki ones. Oh, man. I'm the last one of you again. Don't worry, I just walked into it. Oh. You were pretty you there. Uh, you were pretty piano again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. <laughs> Science club and picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. No, oh, passion. Remember that Remember that the uh, Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Yeah. When you complain about it, yes, it's just yesterday, that's okay. Well, yeah, but I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Siori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific, specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Eh? I didn't say I, didn't li I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? B because! It's right in your name! Man Ika! Eh? That's not you, how you say my name at all. Also, that job doesn't make it makes no sense in translation. Yeah, yeah, I remember that's an inside joke from uh, the original. No, because Ika is squid. Yeah. Japanese. Huh? Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Oh, your reactions aren't as funny as Yuri's or Siori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Siori anyway? Oh, there you are. Siori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I whip my hand in front of her face. Uh, uh, he's facing out again. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Why would it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right, if you say so. I worry, uh, I worriedly glance at Siori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual act activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Siori recently. <clears throat> Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. <sighs> Schmuggles, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything over Siori recently? Eh, up with it? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little, uh, into it a little too much. Which seems a little, a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Yeah, but. 
Oops, I can't see I'm noticing anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Siori, who is idly dragging a uh, rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is someone on her mind. You're always on my mind. <laughs> but I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Smuggles. You certainly do her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She always talks to me about things that bother her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll, I'll drop it now. No, oh, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. But I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. <laughs> hey, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time hanging up with person of interest. Person of in- oh, <laughs> Person of interest! <laughs> Did you put her name in the government of fire? <laughs> person of interest? What do you mean by that? <clears throat> I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Schmuckles. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't be saying say too much, but she already talks about you more than anyone, anything else, you know. Eh? She's been, she's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside it. Oh, something was turned on, wasn't it? Hey! <laughs> what? No way. Siori is always like that. She's always been for the sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Schmuckles. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her so, Well, have you, ever, have you thought that maybe you're always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is. Well, she is when she's around you. Um, oh, my fucking throat's killing her. Now, ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I do? What do I know anyway? I don't mean to jump to conclusions. So you must you should just forget about what I said. <laughs> I'll try to talk to her. So try not to think about it for now. Ah, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said oh. to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Oh. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Siori is sitting. And there, guys, is where we're going to actually leave this episode. We're going to go quick to save it, oh. and then we'll come back here. But yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode. This is the third part. Fourth part will be coming up at some point next week. Um, we're going to stream it again. If you guys, like I said, if you guys want to see this live, or if you want to see me and Liam do Undertale live, then please do check out the link in the description down below. There will be a link to my Twitch there where you can watch us, uh, me and Liam do it live. Thank you again to everyone that's tuned in um, on Twitch to watch this. And thank you to everyone that's watching this on YouTube as well. Uh, me and Liam have been streaming for quite a long while now, so we're going to uh, end it here. I'm sorry yeah, my this, voice is going. Hi. I'm sorry that this, uh, th this video on YouTube is a bit shorter than the rest, but don't worry, guys, there is going to be more on the way. So thank you guys for enjoying the, well, watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, could you please drop a like and a share, as it really does help, guys. If you're new to the uh, channel, uh, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button and make sure you give that uh, notification bell a good old smack so you never miss out on any uploads or any of the laughs. I really do appreciate you guys sticking by uh, or stopping by to come watch this. It's really fun for me and Liam to do this. And yeah, thank you guys again. So it's uh, goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from me. Goodbye from both of us, guys. Thank you again, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Catch you, bye. Catch you, bye. <laughs>